What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Casper's Kicks once again. Appreciate y'all for stopping in and checking out the channel as always. So today for y'all, I do have a sneak review. This shoe did recently come out. If you have not checked the title yet, I do have with me today the Yeezy 350 Dazzling Blue. And I must say this shoe is actually pretty nice to see in person. This is like, I didn't get an early pair of these. I actually just got them on release day. So that is what we're going to talk about today. Hopefully y'all enjoy the video. As always, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. But let's go ahead and jump into this review. Alright, so like I said today, I have a review over the Yeezy 350 Dazzling Blue, which actually for me, at the time of recording this video, released yesterday, which was February 26th. But I will probably be posting this video on Monday, so it'll be like two days past release date for y'all. But how did y'all fare uh, copying the Yeezy 350 Dazzling Blues? Now, I'm not even going to lie, I entered on like Foot Locker for them, and then I entered at JD for them, and I believe that was the only two places I entered a raffle for them. I ended up getting a pair from JD, so that is where I got my pair. I didn't hit on Foot Locker, and I didn't even get my personal size in these. Like by the time I got in to do the raffle up for the EA on JD, my size was already gone, so I just got the next lowest size, which was a size 11. Um, but I'm trying to get my size in them, but just having no luck right now because nobody wants to size swap for a size 12. So we'll see if I eventually get this pair in my size. But like I said, um, I did get my pair from JD. Um, and just to give y'all, if you have not seen them yet, this is the Yeezy 350 Dazzling Blue. So I'll give y'all the quick 360 view of these. If you have seen my previous Yeezy reviews, they go pretty quickly because there's not much with these Yeezys. So I'll go ahead and get started and then we'll kind of talk about the shoe a little bit afterwards. But to start, you do have that thick midsole or outsole. Well, it's, well, we'll start on the outsole. So you do have that all black outsole. And then, of course, on the bottom, you just see Boost written there. But it is that all black outsole. And then, of course, you do see like the, the foam right here in the middle, that white foam. And then, continuing to the midsole, it's not, it's a full black midsole. It's not really translucent like we've seen with some of the other ones. But that midsole does wrap all the way around. And, of course, you see how thick it is, per, uh, as most 350s are. It has that very thick midsole with these. And then, continuing to the upper. They do have a full prime knit on that upper, so all black prime knit, and then you do see on this side the was a supply 350 uh, with that dazzling blue colorway going through there. And these do come with black laces as well. And then on the insole, you do have a all black insole with Yeezy written in that dazzling blue. Hopefully you can see that there. Hopefully the camera picks it up. And you do these do have that black sock liner as well with these, and these do come with a paper shoe tree. So paper shoe tree with these. Now I know y'all, if if y'all are consistently watching my videos, I'm probably out of order with stuff. So we'll go we'll go to the box now. This is the box 4350, of course, the normal slide out box that does fart when you close it. It didn't do it that time actually, but this is a normal box for these. It does have 350 written on the top. And for the label, it reads Easy Boost 350 V2, and it is a size 11. And the colorway is C Black Dazzling Blue C Black. So that is the box. Like I said, this is what most of, or not most, this is what all the Easy's come in. This is cardboard box. It just has different writing on top of them. But let me show you all the other shoe real quick. So this is the 360 of the other shoe. No differences in the two. This shoe just has the hang tag, which you just fell out there. Or not hang tag, but like the tag and everything on there. Like I said, these did come out February 26th, which was yesterday for me. Retail price was $230, so of course we've gone up $10 on Yeezy 350s now because they used to be $220. But I am curious to see, like I asked earlier, how y'all did copying these Yeezy 350s. Now, like I said, I didn't enter too many raffles for them. Like I said, I only entered two, which was JD and Foot Locker. And the only reason I entered Foot Locker was because I was trying to get my size, which was a size 12, but I ended up being on wait list and then didn't cop on Foot Locker. And then the other thing I did try, like I know I tried on Yeezy Supply, which I, I really don't try on Yeezy Supply anymore because it gets bought it so heavily and it, I just have no luck with Yeezy Supply. And I didn't try anywhere else because I just didn't feel like waking up early to try and cop the shoes. But I am curious to know how y'all did trying to cop these like... Did 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 y'all have luck getting pairs or was it just a terrible time trying to get pairs? Like I feel like, and I was wondering this before I made this video: is it harder to cop Jordans or is it harder to cop Yeezys? And in my opinion, I think it's a lot harder to cop Yeezys 
compared to Jordans. And I honestly like I know stock is high on these, but it just seems like it's just super hard to purchase these. Even I don't even hit on raffles like that. Like exclusive access came clutch and I've been able to hit on exclusive access, but like Hibbit and Foot Locker and those other locations that do raffles, I have no luck hitting there on Yeezys. So I'm curious to know how well y'all did. Like, did y'all have luck in store? Did you cop online? Were people able to cop off Yeezy Supply? And I know you, people do manually cop off Yeezy Supply, but that website just is not what it used to be, where you could go in there and actually cop a pair of Yeezys off there. So, but yeah, I'm like I said, I'm curious. Let me know how y'all did on these. And how do y'all feel about these? Is this a cop for you? I, I will say I do actually really like this shoe. If I can get it in my size, I will keep it. I do like just having an all black Yeezy, of course, and then you throw in the blue with these, and it kind of gives it, that hint of blue allows you to do different things with whatever outfit you want to wear. Or if you just want to wear all black, then of course you can wear all black with it. But you can never really go wrong with the all black shoe, um, in my opinion. So that is why I like the shoe, just because, like I said, it is black. It does have that blue uh, stripe in there, which is something totally different. Um, so it just makes the shoe unique to me in, in that aspect of just having that blue uh, line going through that I cannot think. But like I said, let me know what, how y'all feel about these. I don't. I do like the black laces with these. I don't think any a blue lace should have been included in these. I think a blue lace would have just looked really weird on these, but that's just my opinion. But like I said, let me know how y'all feel about these. Was this a must cop for you? Did you have luck copying or did you even attempt to try and cop these or was it just like I'm not even going to attempt to go for these Yeezys? Yeah, but like I said, let me know in the comments how you feel about these. As always, appreciate y'all for stopping in. Y'all know my Yeezy videos are very quick. Like I said, there's not much to go over with Yeezys because there's only really one or two colors with these as you see black and blue with these. But I do appreciate y'all for stopping in on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I think we're coming up on like 50 away from 1,000. So if you're new to the channel, Go ahead and subscribe, hit that like button, turn on the notification bell so you can stay today when I post new content. I do have a bunch of videos coming this week, so if you're interested in the channel, for sure subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post and you get the alert. But as always, I appreciate y'all for stopping in. Hope y'all stay safe and stay blessed. Have a great week this week. I know today is Sunday, so hopefully everybody's week goes well, but I will catch y'all in the next video.